the junior novices chase will be my final race of the day it's a two and three quarter mile novice at the top we've got killing a scully for padre hogan wild card for david hooley geraldo's lawn darren thompson old sacramento leon van rensburg the loon obi-wan glenlini kofa for david robertson lacrania stu gray and Milady marina for padre hogan and called in and away then and Very short run to the first, which they've all successfully got to the other side of. 16 more obstacles for them to take in this one then. And it's my Lady Marina who's settling down into the lead, it would seem. On her inside wild card. And the rest of them virtually in a line as they get to the second. And the leader went right through the top of that one, my Lady Marina. And has subsequently surrendered the lead to old Sacramento on the outside. But back on the level, my Lady Marina for Padre Gogan is regain the initiative and seems to be travelling well with it herself again as they get to the next and jump that one nicely they're all safely over it and it's a short run to the third as they come into now it's a ditch and they all get over that one nicely as well Lucrania was a little bit slow on the outside nothing too serious and my lady marina is now opened up by three to Geraldo's lawn He's moved through into second on the inside. Then Old Sacramento is third. The yellow jacket shared by the leader of Killing Scully is in fourth. Then Wildcard in the purple on the inside. Behind that one on the inside is Glenlini Kafer. And then on that one's outside is Deloon with the back marker Lacrania. As the leader makes another mistake. Uh, that one is now headed by Geraldo's lawn. So Melania Marina taking a few liberties with these fences into this ditch jump that one okay though the rest of them got over it nicely as well and my lady marina and geraldo's lawn are disputing the lead as they come down towards the next of the fences this is number seven and my lady marina jumped that one okay a little bit slow was geraldo's lawn and wild cards move through into third with killing a scully and then old sacramento and the loon lacrania on the outside and Glenlini Kafer is just a back marker as they get over number eight. And they're all safely over that one. With my Lady Marina. Still in my lead despite a couple of pretty iffy jumps. Past the big screen then, past the winning post. And out for a complete circuit of the track. And my Lady Marina will be the one that leads them out all that circuit with wild card in the purple jacket now move through into second then Geraldo's lawn on the inside of killing a scully gap of two lengths to Deloon in the yellow jacket on the outside of old Sacramento is on the outside of Glenlini Kofer and Lucrania is just the back marker at this point but no more than ten lengths off the leader racing down the this point away from the stand then as they get over that next one and they're all safely over that one again with Milady Marina two lengths clear Geraldo's lawn in second the one that's making significant progress on the outside is Glenlini Kafer who's moved through into third now wildcard is back in fourth then comes the loon and old Sacramento killing the scullies after that one and Lucrania is the back marker over the next they go and the Order is pretty much the same with the front three. Milady Marina holding the lead. Geraldo's Lord in second. Glenlini Kafer come to join them in third. Gap back to Old Sacramento, who races alone, and then another gap back to the back four, who are headed by Lucrania. Wild card has dropped right out of it as they get over the next one. That was the twelfth, and now Milady Marina starting to quicken, racing into the thirteenth. Milady Marina then over this ditch in the lead. Oh, what a crashing fall there for Geraldo's Lawn. Geraldo's Lawn's gone, and. That's left Milady Marina and Glenlini Kafer well clear of Old Sacramento who's been pushed along in third. Bigger gap there, more big gap again then back to Killing Scully and Luke Crania and Wildcard. And these two are clear if they can kick this up. They've probably got it between them. Well, Old Sacramento is getting a bit closer and they've still got three more fences to take. 
And it's my Lady Marina in the lead. In fact, they've got four more fences to take. And they come down now to the fourth last. And over that one they go. And my Lady Marina landed in. And he's a fall on their wild card's gone. So my Lady Marina's in the lead. Lenlini Cover is in second. Old Sacramento is now running on in third. Over the final ditch. That's the third last. And my Lady Marina has suddenly gone five or six lengths clear. And races down towards the final two fences then. With a lead of five or six lengths. Lenlini Cover is in second. Old Sacramento is about to take over second. Now over the second last. My Lady Marina in front. How much has she got left? My Lady Marina then is clear by five. Two old Sacramento is moved into second. Glenlini Cover is back in third. Lucrania is running on well in fourth, but have got a lot to do with a full lot to go and one more fence to take. My Lady Marina goes through the top of it. And old Sacramento swoops on the outside. And old Sacramento takes it up. And old Sacramento is pulling away. Glenlini Cave is running on again. My Lady Marina's had the stuffing knocked out of her with that mistake. But the winner is old Sacramento. Glenlini Cave a second. My Lady Marina was third. Then the Crania killing the Scully and finally Deloon and the distance by which old Sacramento has won you I think that it would have won anyway even if Milady Maroon hadn't made that mistake at the last it was the mistakes that probably cost her and old Sacramento takes it old Sacramento the winner for Leon Van Rensburg Lenlini Kafer for David Robertson was second Milady Marina for Padraig Hogan, third. Lacrania for Stu Gray, fourth. And Killina Scully for Padraig Hogan was fifth.